it's Jade from Boho Book Girl and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a book review on The Undomestic Goddess by Sophie Kinsella. This book is about Samantha Sweeting who is one of the most successful lawyers in London. She works extremely hard and just has absolutely no life outside of the office to speak of at all. After a huge mistake is made, Samantha scampers from the law firm before she gets fired and seeks refuge in this very strange little countryside town that is kind of like it's sort of just stepped out of like Pride and Prejudice or Jane Eyre or something like that. She accidentally accepts a job as a domestic worker for a very wealthy couple. Not only is she going to be their domestic worker, but she also weaseled her way into making them believe that she is a cordon bleu trained chef. There is only one problem. Samantha has never cooked in her life, neither has she cleaned. She has her own domestic help for that. I think I got really hyped up to read a Sophie Kinsella book because I'd heard how funny her writing is and how enjoyable and entertaining it is. And yes, this book was very entertaining, but it wasn't laugh out loud funny like, it, like I expected it to be. This book is jam packed with humour, but it's counteracted by so many cliches that it's... Mm, it just goes a little bit too far sometimes. That being said though, it is a book that I could really relate to considering I've just moved into my own flat and I had moved in for about two days before already almost burning the place down. So uh, it was a good read to start the year off with in my new flat. This book had really great character development. I don't know how to pronounce their name, but the the Geigers, the Geigers, I don't know, the, uh, the wealthy employers that uh, are stupid enough to employ her as their domestic worker they are hilarious and just a lovely couple to have in this book. The main character, Samantha, is busy going through a huge transition in life and the book is based around how she deals with that and, and embraces it. As many of you know, I have always lived my love life through books. I, until recently, have been quite incapable of finding my own dream boat, but, side note, I am now seeing someone and he's lovely. I'll tell you more about that once, you know, we've been together a little bit longer. Anyway, Nathaniel, the gardener for the Geigers, or Geigers, is such a hunk. Sorry to my boyfriend. There's an outdoor sex scene in this book, which is just like, whew. I do wish that the romance played a larger role in this book. I think that we were quite cheated with the amount of romance that it contained. It's just that you desperately want the main character to be happy, but I guess in a way, the book is actually great because it's based around the main character finding happiness within herself and in her career rather than basing it around finding love and happiness with a man, which I actually really appreciated. For the most part though, I felt like the main character, Samantha, was quite annoying and I didn't enjoy her character as much as I enjoyed the others. She just seemed a tad unrealistic. I mean, honestly, spending over a thousand pounds of her own money replacing clothes that she dyed pink, um, you know, like her employer's clothes, it was just, I mean, like, she barely batted an eyelash. She was like, oh, let me just spend a thousand pounds here and replace all the clothes that I've just ruined before they notice. And yeah, I guess, you know, she's a, a lawyer that charges 500 pounds an hour, but I'm pretty sure that even a lawyer that is quite well off would have a bit of an issue spending so much of their own money. I don't know, just, it just seemed a little bit unrealistic to me at times. Overall though, I think it's a very entertaining and uplifting read. It was quick and light and fluffy and I think I gave it three stars on Goodreads, which is a pretty good mark for such a, a cliche kind of girly read. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in reading more of Sophie Kinsella's books and seeing what else that uh, she's got in store. I've heard numbers, I've heard numerous things about her other books. So if you can hear this little bird tweeting in the background, I actually have to go. I've got to get to the vet now because I rescued a little bird last night. I'll show you. Let me show you all my birdie. Hi birdie. Hi birdie birdie. I found him outside my house and he was just kind of sitting there and getting covered in uh, ants and stuff and I don't know what's wrong with him. So I am going to go take him to the vet and see if I can help because I feel bad. So wish me luck for that. 
but yeah please like subscribe comment and i'll return the favor have a lovely day further and chat to you soon bye